what's up beautiful people it's in Darama. welcome to the channel today we'll have this very interesting video and it's titled i joined the most racist town in america wow okay i'm excited to check this one out to hear what they've got to say let's check it out we're on the way to arkansas right now and this ac is leaking right now because i think this is still broken it's so wet and look it's leaking again it's leaking oh this is not Normal! This is the third episode. This can't be happening. We're already having problems with the freaking van. If any car people right now, I'm guessing there's a leak in the ceiling. This microfiber and these towels are not gonna work, but you know it will work. Merch from canaljoseph.com. And I swear, even in your tough situations, yes, I'm doing an ad right now. Even in your tough situations, this high, synthetic, nice quality merch will soak up even your worst nightmares. You wet the bed, this will do the job. Your AC's leaking, this will do the job. You pissed yourself, this will do the job. Shop at canaljoseph.com, get you some merch. <laughs> what? What? It worked. I told you. Shop at canaljoseph.com. Bro, that's the greatest advertisement ever, bro. I'm Canel Joseph, and welcome to Minutes Across America. This is a series where my team and I will travel to and prank all 50 states. Mm. We need a tour guide for each state. So follow me on Instagram because we're gonna need Keep the punch if I I haven't up. been to sleep a couple nights. Oh, oh, I oh, took oh, another oh. one. Trans Are you drinking my meat? Nope. I generally don't do that. As you guys can tell by the thumbnail and the title, we're in the world's most racist town in America, and that is Harrison, Arkansas, or Zinc. But in all reality, I feel like that's that's a lie. I just feel like it's really not that racist. I don't mind racist. I'd rather someone be racist than fake because it lets me know they're, you know, openly, honestly, do not like me because of my skin color. Anybody that's out there that's racist, man, um, I guess hats off, <laughs> I don't know. Before we actually do this prank, I decided, why not go see if people are actually racist? We're gonna put these signs, I heart black people signs, on people's lawns and see if, you know, they are black people. Yeah. How you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Where, where do you want it at? What I can, is it? I can, I can leave right here. Did you out order this? I'm pretty sure you ordered this. Uh-uh. Uh. What's your, Bill? Bill. Yeah. No, my name's Bob. The other B. So that's probably what it was. No, I mean, I, I like that. You like it? Yeah. Okay. But, but it's not for you? No, huh? Okay, okay. No. I just wanted to let you know we dropped off your sign for you. We put it right uh, there. I did not order a sign. Are you sure? Positive. Do you want to still keep it? No, I don't want it to keep it. I can just leave it right over there if you want. Uh, but. It, unless you put it in the trash can, do not leave it here. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I was just dropping off your signs. My, my boss said it was this address. Do you realize the Ku Klux Klan is still prevalent? Do you want these signs here, no? I mean, we have no problem. This is a fucked up town. Is it? Totally. Uh, it's a sad situation. But oh. That, that, okay, that makes sense. And, and good luck to you, but yeah. you know, I'm sorry, but no. the town is just... So, just be safe? You're safe where you are, but okay. they are still very aggressive. Mm. No. I just dropped off your sign, just to let you guys know. What sign is that? Did you guys not order it? <sighs> yeah, we didn't order it. Oh, no, it, we didn't order no shit like that. Uh, no, you can go ahead and get off this property, though. Oh, uh, my fault. Do you want it by chance or no? No, we don't want it. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Wow. Sorry about that. <laughs> it was quick. What the fuck? Is he that piss? That's a KKK member. Oh shit, that's a KKK member. Bro, is he is he what is he that's throwing nice. up? Oh that motherfucker's different. Look at him oh what, what what the fuck? What the f What is he what is he throwing up? Oh, okay. What the fuck? Yo. Ah. Bro went to zero. I like, I didn't even get to say anything. He's like, nah, get that out of here. That guy was definitely a member. Everybody else was chill and they didn't care and they were all nice. But that guy, I don't know what he was on. Flex his tattoo. I don't know what signs he was throwing up. Uh, Barry didn't get it on camera, but the guy started chasing the van. All jokes aside, right now, we're currently being followed. I don't know who it is, but we're being followed. 
if you want to get the angle. That car's been like following us for a minute. So he's taking every single turn. He's following us right now. That shit oh my is insane God. right now. I'm not even gonna lie. He should have no reason to make this turn. Oh shit, he is making the turn. Yep, we're being followed. But the way he showed off those tattoos and he was chasing the freaking van, I think that guy was definitely in the Klansman. If you guys can let me know what that meant, like on his stomach and stuff, please let me know. That was actually like the first scary experience when I was doing something. Oh, he's taking every single turn. Fucking hell. Go back to the... Oh, shit. What? He just waved to me. Yeah, just go back towards the town. Okay. Just keep going, just keep going. Is he still following? Yes. We're done with this bit. Like, this is all jokes aside. Bro, I think that guy was actually a Klansman. Wow. Um, he had somebody follow us for a minute. They got the license plate. And this is actually the first time I've actually ever got nervous doing a prank. But Harrison, Arkansas, there actually are some people that really, really hate black people. Everybody else is all chill and happy and stuff. But that guy, I didn't even say, I didn't even say a joke. All I did was show him the sign and like I could just feel his energy just being pissed and mad. I don't know if they can hear me, but my heart was racing. Like I'm usually not scared and shit, but oh fuck. I'm not gonna lie. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> this shouldn't even be funny right now, but fuck. I'm Chuck Fuck Harrisburg. I'm white, racist, and blind. Um, is there anything that you recommend? I'm just trying to look for some like country music yeah. that has like banjos. I'm not looking for any of that rap crap music, you know? <laughs> what is this in your hand? The Michael Jackson off the wall. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember back in the day I used to hate Michael Jackson. <laughs> but now, I don't know what the reason was, but I like him. Are you a white brother? I'm a white brother. Oh yes, yes sir. <laughs> what album is this one? That's off the wall. Off the wall. Is yeah. he white or black in this one? He's black in this one. Oh no, no, no. I don't want that one. <laughs> I only want the white one. Yes. Do you got any of them fans that actually like uh is very comfortable and feels good when I go to sleep? Yeah, we do. Uh, what are you What are you looking for? You want something uh, like a white noise fan? White noise? <laughs> yes, that's that's what I'm looking for. Yes, Bubba, that's what I'm looking for. The white noise. I love white noise. Yeah, we don't we don't sell those. Oh, uh, do they have any books here? Yeah, they do. They do. He loves to read to me, so I was trying yeah. to find like something that is like informational. You got any history books? History books. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much was it again? It was eight, be twelve dollars and sixty cents. Is that a five for Abraham Lincoln on there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He used to be my favorite president. Was he? You know, he was supposed to free the slaves, but he actually made them free. I ain't like that. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes. You know where the bathroom is. Yes, I do. Your voice sounds a little light for a sir. Yeah, I'm not a sir. What are you, ma'am? Ma'am. Ma'am, mm -hmm. are you sure? Last time I looked, yeah. I think you gotta look again. <laughs> no, I was wondering if you can help me find the beans, like the section. What's your name, by the way? My name's Tim Garrison. Tim. What's yours? My name's Chuck Fuck Harrisburg. Well, it's good to meet you. Pinto beans. That's where they are. I got it up here. Nah, What's you got black beans here. Wh what? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, that's what it said. Did anybody tell you that you were black? No, I'm white. Oh. Am I not white? I'm, no, my... no, you are. But them black beans and black. I can't be touching them black beans. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel so sorry for you. I could just cry. Excuse me, ma'am. You smell really good. <laughs> are you single by chance? No. You sure? I'm sure. Bye bye. Would you like a strong, healthy white man like me? A white man? Yeah. You're a black man, honey. Are you sure? Cause I can't be black. <laughs> I'm sure. That's disappointing. Something stinks. Do you have any fears? No. Are you sure it's not a job application? No. Interesting. Is it not a whip? Is it not a chain? No. Excuse me, madam. Oh. Are you single by chance? Why? 
You smell, you smell delightful. Thank you. Where you at? Hello? By chance, are you colored? Uh, I'm a white male. Are you one of them solar eclipse babies? No, I guess I am white as well. Ah, uh, nice to see you, brother. I guess it's nice to see you too. If you see any blacks, you run the opposite direction and you call the cops, you hear me? Of course. Did he changed his race? We need to patch that next update. <laughs> Brother, is that you? Nah, keep pushing, bro. I ain't your brother, bro. Just looking for my white brother. No, nah, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not white. I'm black, bro. I just identify as white. Just keep it pushing, bro. I knock you the hell out of here, bro. What? You ain't white. You black. You black. You ain't white. Keep it pushing, bro. I knock you the hell out, bro. Bro, you better walk, bro. Okay. No, not, bro. Don't you knock me out. Wait, you ain't white. You black. I was adopted. He wasn't no good adopted. Get that out your fucking head. To be truthful, that was very motivational. Almost made me feel proud to be black. Good thing I'm still white and proudly racist. Excuse me, madam. <laughs> Stop. Y'all just have me on TikTok or YouTube. Are you, are you colored? Yes. Get the hell out of here. This is my town. I'm white. Oh, you're white? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. What? Yeah, with the <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what uh, my fellow brothers and sisters are doing, but we need to pass that update. We need to stick to your color and be proud. You with the camera. Huh? What happened, sir? You shush. What happened? You with the camera. What happened? You're going to get sued. What happened? Stop. Stop, sir. Hey, you just walked in front of me. You're not blind. Oh. 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 How, how did you get me? Cause I'm not stupid. Oh, stop. You. Ah, uh, uh, ow. Don't even try it. Stop, stop. Don't even try it. I'm not. I'm gonna fucking sue your ass and your ass. Don't sue me. Why not? Cause I don't wanna get sued. I don't have money. I don't give a fuck what you got. I have two black grandchildren. Oh. So don't even start your stupid fucking shit. Oh, please hurt me. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Motherfucker, I told you. Stop, stop, stop. Ah, fuck you, bitch. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna hey, sue your stop. ass. Hey, back stop. up, boy. Stop. We're on the same team. What you gonna do, son? What you gonna We're do? We're on son? the same team. Stop. Stop, sir. Who the it's, fuck do you it's think you're? a public space. My name's Chuck. This is my uncle, but bro. But you gotta have, you gotta have permission this is my to uncle. film me. Hey, leave my blonde uncle alone. You got it? I don't know what that guy was on. Like, I'm telling you, we we're walking right back to the car. And that wasn't even planned or even staged. You can you can ask them. Like it was it didn't came out of nowhere, bro. And whoever that guy was, hey, I apologize if I made you mad, but hey, uh, you shouldn't have been that mad. We're in public. <laughs> like that's what made it even funnier. It was like, bro, wow. we're in public. What are you talking about filming? All right, we're on the way to Zinc right now, and I can't wait to meet a fellow brethren who has the same mindset as me. And when I say same mindset, I mean exactly the same. There you go. All right, Tom, this is Chuck. Chuck, Tom's right here. How you doing, Tom? I'm a, I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you. Get around pretty good for being blind. Thank you. As a fellow brother as you, I, I'm just glad to be in your presence. I don't know what to say. I'm but just an average guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be around average guys than, you know, them solar clip babies, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't like them, them tar babies. I heard a lot of people call this town racist. I don't think it's racist, if I'm being honest. I think it's you guys are speaking truth. As a fellow white guy as me, I think I think it's very, very understanding where you're coming from. <laughs> no, you're not, and you know it. <laughs> don't trust white people that tell you you're white. Generally, don't trust white people. That hadn't worked out for black people in the past. Oh. When they got on that luxury ship, little did they know it wasn't where they were going or a luxury ship. I have my, I have my caretaker. And she says on my ID, it says, it says I'm, I'm a white male. I can't be black. Yeah. That's how you self-identify. Do you not feel my skin and like my hand? I have to be white. My hair? Sorry to break it to you, but you already know it. <laughs> this whole time, I just thought I was a fellow brethren. Are you breaking my balls, Tom? No. Are you drinking my meat? Nope. I generally don't do that. Yo, Zach, it's Tom being for real. I, I, I can't be black. I've been telling you this whole time. You wouldn't listen to me. Mm. Can you give him a hug? He's really sad. <laughs> Don't let them hurt you because you know why they're treating you that way? Why? Because they're not happy with their self. Thank you a lot. You're welcome. Well, Tom, I appreciate your time. Thank you again. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. Bro. 
Uh, what what the fuck? What he believed it. Tom, if you ever see this, I'm not actually blind, but you know, I just kind of wanted to see like how you were. And I mean, you're like probably one of the nicest people I met. All right, so we're currently going to the high school. So there's some fans here. So people told me to pull up. I'm gonna pull up, see what's happening. Oh shit. <laughs> I was good, man. 20 minutes away. I drove all the way. How are you doing, man? See that guy that does the DoorDash and eats other people's food? No, that's not me. That's Mr. Beast. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I peaked in high school coming back here. I would have never expected myself to be here. I'm just seeing if this is the most racist town in America. Are we racist? Not so far. Yeah, you guys are way better than like any other state I've been to. Excuse me. Peyton Reese's past. My friend right here. He's single. Just I'm just letting you know. Through. He thinks they're very beautiful. So, yeah, it's cool. Look, you know what, man? It's, it's. Don't worry about it. There's, there's other fish in the sea. Like, look, right here. If, if you go that way. <laughs> w man's man. I'm not gonna lie. These are people. Yo. <laughs> what should the champ be? One hand in. One in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You guys are known for being racist. I doubt that. You guys are not racist. You guys show how a lot of love. Appreciate you guys. You know, you guys don't have good D. That game was ass, <laughs> but that doesn't matter. All right, because you guys are not racist. So, on three, equality. One, two, three. three. Equality! equality! That was so gay. I heard that, one. <laughs> that jam was super, super gay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tell me I didn't just tear up when um, the other lady hugged him. Oh my God. That was so beautiful even though it was just acting because oh my god it was it's so good this is my first time actually watching him and i, th I think i've seen a couple of videos where they talk about uh where they say they go to the most racist town in america and stuff i mean that first guy with the knife what was it doing that was scary oh my god I feel like um these are it's just because of i mean i don't even know wow even the other black guy when he was chasing him and was like oh you're you're black you can't see i mean wow but this was really beautiful to watch i mean this is even a real life experience real life and wow oh my god bless bless those um, bless um everyone here who never saw skin color whatsoever wow god bless your heart this was beautiful so refreshing to watch oh my goodness i feel like it was a, an experience and i mean this was something that he did and he filmed and everything and he actually experienced this to put it out there oh my goodness i'm sure the words because it was kind of emotional and beautiful but um kind of scary at the same time because of all of what people have been saying but hey let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below um have you kind of visited the city before um if you're black let me know um if you're black if you've kind of visited the city or if you live there how the, the people are like because um i i don't think everyone who lives there is um racist i don't I, I don't think it is um and uh mr tom god bless him because he's like he's oh attended to a couple of people who visited the town and i mean he's i've, I've seen another video in another video where he was sharing a bit of history and everything to about the town to people who visited the town and it was quite interesting and refreshing at the same time but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below what this guy did was kind of scary but adventurous at the same time let me know if you um have visited this um, town or the city or if you've um, ever encountered uh, any situation or a time where people saw your skin color and they were being mean to you whatsoever or there was a time where people did, never saw your skin color and appreciated you i mean it's different for different people and everybody have got different experience but I really love your contribution in the comment down below. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. And until next time, see you in the next video.